Stop and think about this number, 35,000. That's the number of people living with HIV in North Carolina. Over 55% of new cases are either in the Black or Hispanic or Latino population. Those like Lexington native Thomas Claude Filter. He was diagnosed in 1990. I had to um, come to grips with knowing that I had contract a disease, HIV, and first and foremost, being able to own it, accept it. Just recently, a New York woman of mixed race who also has cancer was cured of HIV. This woman has received chemo, it destroyed her immune response, and then she was transplanted, uh, well, essentially what we call transplanted, with uh, stem cells that came from this cord blood, and then she also got stem cells from a close relative. Mackie King with Novant Health says she's the first woman of mixed race to be cured. To get stem cells from another person, you have to be very close match. Um, you know, from a genetic perspective, they have to be very similar. The great thing about the cord blood is you don't have to be quite as similar to the person who's donating, donating it to you. Claude Felter is being treated with a medication that has helped him be undetectable. He says it's comforting to hear about the recent case. To see this work that's being done after so many years and where we're at with um, you equals you and everything else um, is phenomenal. King says while the cord blood treatment is a unique case, there's still more research to be done. And there's a lot of danger that can be associated with the stem cell transplant and what it takes to get to that point. So I don't think we're at, unfortunately, we're not at the place yet where we're scaling this. But what this is important, why this is so important is because it gives us information for the next step. King says doctors are continuing to develop more medications that will actively treat HIV, including longer duration pills to avoid having to take them frequently.